All right, well, um, I'm just making this intro a little bit late, but uh, I'm gonna be swapping the uh, regular five-speed transmission in my 1990 Subaru Loyal for a different unit that has a low-range option uh, with a lever instead of a push button. It'll have a uh, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and then a four-low option with a 1.59 gear reduction. It's out of like an old uh, 80s Subaru GL wagon. So I am pulling my engine and trans to do valve seals in the engine, uh, a bunch of gaskets because it just literally pours oil. And then uh, to put that trans in, it should be remove and replace. So it shouldn't be too long, especially compared to the Toyota. Everything is so simple. There's a wiring harness loom that just disconnects rather than having to cut around the intake manifold. It's, that was dumb. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so we have to remove the power steering pump to move it aside so that these lines cannot inhibit the engine coming out. Then we have the uh, plug right there with the tape on it. That's for the O2 sensor. Looks like we got uh, the torque brace in here, clutch. We have the, the uh, speedometer cable, which is that one right there. We have a bunch of different plug systems there. Kind of probably just remove the starter. I already unplugged the distributor. Remove the battery. I do not know where this somewhat stiff vacuum line looking thing goes. This one's for the radiator reservoir, no big deal there. And uh, we gotta detach the alternator dealio here because that is one of the few wires that runs to the firewall. Um, otherwise, you can just unplug those big clump connectors right there, and those should disconnect most of the engine. Um, got to disconnect a few vacuum lines. So we have this one here, it goes on down somewhere, attaches here. We have this big line here, it looks like a fuel line here. That has got to get disconnected, well, wherever. Um, probably it'll be over here. And uh, yeah. For coolant stuff, both hoses are disconnected over by the radiator. We have to disconnect the two heater hoses. Uh, we might want to disconnect them on both ends. We have to drop the oil out. Well, maybe we don't, but might help make the engine a little bit lighter. Oil change has to be done anyways. And then I also have to um, do the valve guides. So, yeah, from the bottom here, I already removed the exhaust. 14 mils on this side. Passenger side is some 17 mils on some exhaust studs. We have several mounts on the transfer case. We have engine mounts, which are there. And there, probably buy some new ones and uh, harden them up with some window weld. Uh, I'll put a new uh, drain pan, oil pan, gasket on this thing. I'm gonna do the oil change, um, remove any gunk I have in the oil pan, which I'm sure there is a ton. Um, looks like we have three mounts back there on the trans, one on the center, two on each side, and uh, probably have to remove the trans shift linkage because that's gotta come out for the new trans and unbolt the drive shaft, that's gotta get done. All right, so I didn't disconnect this one individual wire and the two large wiring harness looms. Let's go.